It was a great day to do it. Yeah. Good thing though, Tim, we got that clear sky in place and we're going to be able to see this great meteor shower that we're going to talk about tonight. It peaks tonight. We talked about this about one or two weeks ago. Uh, the Geminid meteor shower, the peak of it is uh, yesterday and today. So if you missed it last night, you can catch it tonight. Over 50 meteors per hour expected at the peak. Most visible away from the city lights. So if you are out in the country, you got a better view out there. Or if you want to go drive and take a look at this, you can do that tonight. And then visible all night, but the best shot to see it is going to be in the middle of the night around 2 a.m. Let's take a look at this video. This one comes in from Massachusetts last night. You see that clear sky and then you see that meteor going on by. So a similar story last night is going to be the case tonight. So if you want to get outside and uh, take that in, tonight is going to be a, per a perfect night to do so. Just bring a jacket if you are outside. Let's take a look at downtown San Angelo right now. Looking pretty good as of 6, 615. Starting to see that uh, dark sky out there. That sun has just set. 51 in San Angelo, 45 right now up in Abilene. So a chilly day, but it's seasonal for this time of year. It's 49 in Paint Rock, 47 right now in Brady, 48 in Brownwood, and 44 degrees in Baird. The next few hours, clear skies continue. Grab that jacket, mid 40s drop to the upper 30s as of 9 p.m. Satellite and radar not tracking much. Few clouds trying to creep in to our northwestern areas. Most of that cloud cover though up in New Mexico. Some snow showers west of Albuquerque and then up in the mountains of Colorado, Arizona and Utah as well. That's our next weather maker but it is going to be north of us once again. So another system expected similar to what we saw yesterday up to the north and northeast of us. The rain showers up towards the Red River, some snow showers in the Texas Panhandle in western Oklahoma. May see some isolated sprinkles in our far northern areas towards Wichita, Wichita Falls. Most of the snow stays north. We just deal with the wind on the back side of this. So another windy day coming for your day tomorrow, similar to what we saw yesterday. Low tonight, clear skies, back in the middle 30s, a little bit warmer than what we saw today. Still chilly out there but it won't be in the teens or low 20s. Tomorrow, big temperature gradient, upper 40s along and north of Interstate 20. Meanwhile, Concho Valley, we should warm up to the mid 50s, mid to upper 50s, and then some low 60s showing up just to the south along Interstate 10. Wind once again out of the west and northwest. Gonna be breezy behind that low pressure system, 20 to 25 miles an hour. May even see gusts upwards of 30 miles an hour. So a windy day tomorrow but seasonal in terms of temperature. So a cool breeze tomorrow up in Abilene. We'll go for a high at 51, 52 and sunny on Wednesday. That low though, back in the 20s, early Wednesday morning. Then we have a sort of a rebound Thursday, Friday and into the coming weekend. Those temperatures back in the low 60s for highs. A little bit cooler Saturday, Sunday. And then we warm up nicely close to 70 as we get towards next week. Once again, the seven day forecast is completely dry. All weather systems stay away from us. We just deal with some wind and some passing clouds, but temperatures up and down. Seasonal though, through the rest of the week. Sports is coming up next.